Let me quickly compare and contrast uh, three great unsecured credit cards for bad credit, 100% approval. So we have Credit One, Total, and uh, First Access. Don't go anywhere, you're going to love this. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to compare and contrast Credit One, Total Card, and First Access. And, of course, we're speaking here about unsecured credit cards for bad credit, 100% approval. The thing is, it's very important to understand that uh, most, credit card for, most credit cards for bad credit are secured cards meaning that you have to make a deposit and that deposit becomes your initial credit limits and so on and so forth. But in today's show, we are actually comparing and contrasting three credit cards for bad credit that are, check this out, unsecured. These issuers do not require a deposit and you can start using your card as soon as you are approved. One thing I have to mention though, all credit cards for bad credit, whether unsecured or secured, are pretty expensive, right? It comes with the territory. You have to pay for it. The high fees are meant to offset the risk the card issuer is taking by letting to you, a consumer with a low FICO score. And so there are five important things you need to pay attention to when evaluating which credit card you should choose between Credit One Bank Unsecured Visa, Total Visa Credit Card, and First Access Visa Credit Card. So you have to pay attention to the credit limits, the annual fee, very important, the APR, the rewards rate, and the perks. By perks, I mean free monthly credit score, credit education, customer service, and so on and so forth. Before I get into the actual review, please check out our short video about uh, credit card evaluation, our credit card evaluation approach. We do have on this show a very rigorous method for evaluating, categorizing, and listing credit cards. So check this out. Okay, let's get into the actual review here. Let's start with Credit One Bank Unsecured Visa. What are the pros and cons of this little jewel here? The pros, 1% cash back on eligible purchases. And uh, this card is available to people with uh, poor credit, no credit, bankruptcy, all kinds of uh, credits. But specifically for people who have credit, a credit score below 500. And you also have automatic credit line increase reviews. We'll love that also because they allow you to actually be promoted to a higher tier once you have demonstrated a pattern of uh, on-time payments. What about the cons? The annual fee oscillates between zero and $99. They have a high APR and they have a low limit. And what I want to say here is that the Credit One Bank Visa credit card is one of the most popular credit cards for people with bad credit largely because it's one of the few unsecured cards that applicants with poor credit scores can get approved for. In addition to the $300 minimum credit line, Credit One's Platinum Visa offers rewards and regular credit limit increases, or at least the potential for both. Okay, and this is really good. And what are the, the key terms here? Credit limits at least 300. We've seen people who actually got a, a limit as high as 5,000. Yes, the annual fee, zero to $99, the APR, oscillates between 17.99% to 23.99%. Okay, 17.99 to 23.99. What is, what is the rewards rate? 0 to 1% cashback. With all that being said, your decision to uh, apply or not for this card should ultimately rest on your need or lack thereof. 
of an emergency loan, right? Because um, if obtaining one is a necessity to cover the cost of car repairs or medical treatment, for example, Credit One's Platinum Visa will be one of your top options, really, okay? And so this is something you have to uh, sort of uh, love, you have to be comfortable with. And we also love the fact that they also offer a whole range of educational resources. They're able to work with you uh, in the last five years, and we've been tracking this company for a while now, and uh, Credit One Bank Unsecured Visa, they have offered their their uh, consumers, their clients, a whole range of educational features, including the debt management, uh, the ability to uh, plan your budget, personal finance, they have a blog, they have articles, so they have a whole constellation of features and resources that will help you, okay? I want to quickly talk about some of uh, the, the key terms uh, when it comes to Credit One because I think it's really important. This is what we call the differentiating factors here. You have automatic credit line increase reviews, so they do this automatically. So you don't have to contact them they will automatically review you it happens about uh, every three months every three months where you have uh, on-time payments you are eligible for it and the, what they do is that they will actually uh do it and if uh they see that uh, you are approved for a higher limit they will notify you okay and this is really we think is a great is a great opportunity for um in terms of incentives right for uh, a customer to think twice about going over the limit or when it comes to paying off their balance in full every month. Most credit card companies make it a practice to consider customers for higher credit limits. They just don't always advertise it. What's more, Credit One does not disclose either the frequency with which cardholders will be evaluated for an increase or the criteria used to make the final determination. One thing for sure, as long as you keep make, making payments on time and you're just a discipline, you will get the, the increase you need, all right? And uh, but don't forget though, with Credit One credit card, as I said, you have an annual fee of up to ninety nine dollars. Not not only does this card's pricey annual fee promise to consume uh, a healthy portion of uh, your starting credit line, but you'll also be kept in the dark about how much it will end up costing you until well after you are you have submitted your application. And this could this is really high. Let's say for instance, if you get approved for a three hundred dollar credit limit, and they're charging you. $99 uh, as annual fee, that's 33% taken right off the bat from uh, your credit limit. So you only can only spend uh, $201. So this is kind of high. And uh, you have a high interest rate. I talked about that. So 17.99% all the way to 23.99% uh, variable based on your credit standing. And uh, this is, uh, and other things to consider is that you can get a free monthly credit score. So credit score access is extremely beneficial for people with damaged credit, providing a barometer with which to measure improvement. Okay, so having access to that is pretty cool. Of course, you're paying for it like uh, indirectly through uh, the fees and all that, but um, it's good to have, it's a nice to have. I wanna to talk to you now about Total Visa credit card. So we've finished with uh, the Credit One Bank Unsecured Visa. Let's talk about the Total Visa credit card. Now, this is one of those cards out there that you should consider. And uh, this, the Total Visa credit card is, an, is a very cheap unsecured credit card for people with bad credit. And the Total Visa card does not require applicants to place a refundable secure deposit, right? But it does charge high fees, same thing as a Credit One Bank unsecured visa, right? And they their fees start with an $89 pro, what they call program fee that's assessed before account opening. There is also a $75 annual fee for the first year, which is replaced by a total of $123 in monthly and annual fees uh, each year after, okay? And um, what do you get in return for those non-refundable fees? A fairly low limit and a very high APR. So the total Visa card's credit limit is $300 to start, and its regular APR is 34.99% almost twice as much as the average secure credit card charges. So as a result, whether you are in the market with a secure card or unsecure card, you should be able to do better than the, than the, than the uh, total visa. Now we'll see, this card has uh, other, uh, other perks that you might wanna consider. It's expensive, that is true, but let's look at some of the things you might want to take into account before making a final decision. So you have a monthly credit bureau reporting, so the total visa card reports account information to the three major credit bureaus each month 
this will help you build positive credit history if you don't miss uh, due dates or max out your spending limits and uh, they have a uh, actually they have interest um, of course the fees are expensive I've already said that you have also the APR which is kind of high and uh, they do have card design options so total visa allows you to choose a design for your card from their gallery for free there are a handful of options including dogs and cats flowers a beach scene and an American flag design now not that I'm not saying this really matters because we're having a conversation about credit here but if you are the kind of customer and you want you just want to have a, a a nice design yeah you might want to uh, consider a total visa credit card they also have uh, they, they require a bank account so you need a checking account to get approved for the total visa credit card it will be used to facilitate monthly payments this is fairly standard but not all credit cards require a bank account okay something you need to think about I'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. I, I'm just uh, doing a compare and contrast between Credit One, Total Card, Total Visa Card, and First Access. So I've already uh, covered uh, Credit One Bank's Unsecured Visa. Now I want to uh, cover Total Visa Card, and I want to give you more info about that card. It's a card that is very expensive. I've already said that, and it has uh, other um, perks or other features, if you will. So you have the Total Visa Card phone number. So that this is uh, 844-548-9721. So people who don't have, who don't yet have a total visa card, can call 844-206-4371 for questions about the application or paying the total visa program fee. So you can do the uh, the application uh, online, or you can contact them and they will send you an email, or they will fax you an email depending on where you live, and you can send everything to them via fax or email, or you can even do it over the phone in some cases you also have a total visa card processing fee so the fee is important to remember because a lot of folks they love the, the visa with because of the, the design and everything but they forget about the fees so the processing fee is $89 so this fee which the total visa calls a program fee is assessed prior to account opening and card activation very important you have to pay this before they even uh, open the account before they even uh, process your application you also have the total visa card credit limits this is uh 300 for now very rarely have we heard people actually someone who got a thousand dollars with uh, total visa it's 300 the maximum is 450 in our in our research sometimes 475 so a new card holders initial available credit, credit limit will be uh 225 if you think about uh if you think about the fact that uh they have uh, the first year annual fee of $75. They will assess that. So if they give you $300 and they assess $75, you are left with $225. But don't forget that you have already paid $89. Right? And so they, in terms of the activation, so to activate a total visa card, you need to pay the one-time program fee for the account, fund your approved application on the total visa website, and then you need to follow the instructions to activate your card. The fee, you can actually pay that fee through a bank account or through another credit card. Okay, so this is what you need to know about uh, the Total Visa credit card. Now, let's talk about the First Access Visa credit card. If you have poor credit, one step to, build, to rebuilding is, is showing that you can manage credit cards responsibly, right? So the First Access Visa credit card is actually designed to help you do that. And we love the fact that they will report to all three major credit bureaus, Experian, TransUnion, and uh, Equifax. So paying your balance on time can help you to improve your credit score. And uh, as with uh, many credit cards like this one, one of, the draw one of the drawbacks is what? Higher fees, right? And also a low initial credit line. What are the card details? So checking account is required. Perfect credit is not required for approval. So they will, they will approve everybody, even if you've been uh, declined elsewhere. If you have bankruptcies on your uh, credit file, they will. If you have charges, if you have um, collections accounts, everything is fine. They will accept you. The three hundred, they will give you three hundred dollar credit line. This is subject to available credit, of course. They have an easy and secure online application. 
you can get you can get a result in as little as 60 seconds upon completion of the application and you can get the security and convenience of a full featured visas credit card that reports to all three major credit bureaus what are the pros and cons here pros it's available to those with poor credit the report to experience equifax and transunion the cons you have high apr numerous fees low initial credit lines and no rewards okay something you have to be you have to think about and of course one thing you need to pay attention to also when when thinking about the uh the first access visa credit card is that they do pay attention to the application fee the application process a lot okay this is basically a card as you can imagine that is designed for people with bad credit also called subprime subprime users in the united states all right and um the uh you don't need a, a credit history actually this will work for people with bad credit or no credit and they do charge a lot of fees for me at least in our analysis we believe that uh, the fees are justified because it's an investment in your future it's an investment to actually reap to sort of uh, quote unquote fix the mistakes of the past and if you look at it from the lender or the credit card issuers perspective this cost this fees help credit card issuers defer some of the risk they take when they open accounts for those with poor credit scores okay but one thing for sure if you're not careful the extra cost can quickly add up so that's why you need to read the fine prints when considering any credit card for that matter all right and uh, let's talk about uh, other features you need to be aware of when we talk about the uh, first access visa credit card so you have uh, the purchase apr is kind of high 34.99 percent transfer apr there's none the cash advance apr is also 34.99 percent minimum interest charge is 50 cents grace period 21 days the annual fee 75 dollars for the first year then 48 dollars the second balance transfer fee not applicable cash advance fee uh, zero dollars for the first year thereafter ten dollars or three percent of the advanced amount whichever is greater okay foreign transaction fee none and you have a late payment fee of up to forty dollars you have a return payment fee of up to forty dollars too and so one thing I want to say here is that is this card really right for you well the first access visa credit card gives you access to a small credit line at a price at a very high APR plus plenty of fees so if you had trouble say getting a proof of credit this trade-offs may be worth maybe worth your time and worth your consideration okay now if you would like to explore other options you can also check out a secure credit card which may offer a higher spending limit a lower APR and even some perks so either way you're going to have to pay something right and especially the uh, the high annual fee for the first year when we talk about uh, first access visa the first the high annual fee for the first year is a really is a big deal but again we've seen people who were comfortable paying the 75 dollars knowing that they could actually uh, they could actually uh, increase the credit score after time they can build credit which is the whole goal after all here right and uh, but one thing I want to say here is that um, whether it is um, first access visa total visa credit one bank unsecured visa there are cheaper alternatives out there you can go for a credit builder credit card you can go for a credit builder loan you have uh, debit cards that act as credit cards for example if you take the extra card that we have reviewed on other shows you can also take the uh, the chime card which is uh, a a um, it acts as a secured card but it has rewards so those are cheaper alternatives and so the money you give into credit one bank unsecured total visa or first access in terms of uh, fees can be actually used for other things so folks this is uh this is it for today's conversation so i've actually uh, compared and contrasted credit one bank unsecured visa total visa credit card and first access visa credit card so which card is best for you one thing i will say very clearly is that it depends on your situation really it really depends on your, on your situation the card you ultimately choose to have will be a reflection of your situation of your goals of your financial uh, financial objectives for the next three months six months 12 months it also depends on your uh family situation do you have a family budget or are you single that kind of stuff okay there are a few criteria you need to pay attention to when uh, considering any credit card ex especially 
the unsecured credit cards for bad credit 100% approval so you have the credit limits some of them will give you a minimum of 300 you want to go for those who have those that have a, a higher credit limits you also need to pay attention to the to the annual fee okay so if we, if you have to compare the annual fee that uh, credit one bank unsecured visa charges versus the one that total visa credit card charges and the first access visa credit card charges think also by the by the APR APR is the annual percentage rates so this is basically a combination of all the interest rate but also the the other fees you have to think about the rewards rates are there any rewards with um, with the cards you are considering for example if you look at the total visa the total visa or the uh, the credit one bank unsecured visa for example that has 1% cash back on eligible purchases that's not the case for uh, total visa credit card and that's definitely not the case for uh, the first access visa credit card also so you have to think about that and you also need to think about the perks then those perks are important especially if you are in, in what we call in a fragile transition phase in other words you are building or rebuilding credit so this is kind of fragile so you want to you want to you want to hang on to the those perks as um, much as possible what are those perks you have free monthly credit score credit education customer service if they if you're looking for a digital experience like an app where you can actually monitor your payments you can monitor your credits that kind of stuff so those perks are important for newbies if you will all right folks so which is our pick we have picked today our pick is credit one bank unsecured visa card our score 7.5 over 10 then we have total visa credit card 6.5 over 10 and then we have first access visa card six over ten and we pick credit one bank unsecured visa card because uh, it has more more benefits than other cards even though they are there are generally better cards even than uh, credit one bank unsecured visa but our pick for today's conversation our pick for today's review is credit one bank unsecured Thank you so much for your attention, folks. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.